Might as well get this started. Anyway, good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Speed today. Welcome to Hump Day, which is when Pumpkin. Ah. I'm I'm still. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it's it's Hump Day or Wednesday, June twenty sixth, two thousand twenty four, day one hundred and seventy eight. I smell my fingers after and I yes, eat. Yes, I am sober, even after what happened yesterday. We, we did agree that we needed to try thinking of something for day 200. And he, he did say with the word it was a test of seeing whether or not something like that could be pulled off. And he, he has mixed feelings and obviously you know how I feel about that. But uh, his mixed feelings are... It kind of looks like it can be pulled off, but at the same time, not so much. Why? Like, you, you, for those who have an eye for these things can tell that the, um, positions of each of us were not as good as they could have been to pull that off better. So it's obvious there are limitations for that kind of thing, but... That's for him to fix, or to not put me through again. I'd prefer not to do that again. Was, uh... Well, it was actually a little too weird for both of us. He was uncomfortable with it, and yeah, I was uncomfortable with it too. So, we're going to leave it with we were uncomfortable and we do not plan to do something like that again. He was talking about that kind of thing, though, and we kind of came to the realization that we don't really think it's possible to do something like that with, with that degree of cooperation and timing. We don't know if it's possible to do that with another person. Not that we would, but we thought about it, and talking with people in VR chat. More often, if they start talking while you are, one of you's gonna stop talking, so it's hard to actually have planned lines. But that's just, that's just the inherent... Um... Law. The inherent... <laughs> what was that? I think that was an oopsie. But that was, that's... There it is again. Ugh. I don't know how it's doing that. No, okay, so apparently I can do it more than once. But this inherent flaw with online conversations is that it, it's hard to speak in unison online. I mean, you can with typing, of course, but we're not talking about typing. We're talking about actually doing things, you know? Ow, 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 ow. Oh. And yes, I am in a little bit of pain right now. That's not because of yesterday. It just happened. It, my hip socket's pinching. Prior injuries, right? But I am in yet another world. It is very purple in this one. And, oh, hang on. The world is kind of very, very, well, it's colorful. I didn't realize that the lighting had different effects. It's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, right. I'll turn this off real quick and we'll take a look at the world thing. If I remember to click on the camera first. But okay, wrong. Okay, worlds. We are in the world after glow by Bevertsi, I think. I think of the Dirtsy. I think that's how you say it. I don't really know European pronunciations all too well. I try sometimes. I try. I'm not gonna get it all that often. But that's how things go. I wasn't really sure how uh, what to really talk about today, especially since my mind is still on yesterday. And of course. Uh, next week, and, um, day 200, our minds are still very much on that, and we have no idea what we're gonna do for everyone. 
We've been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, and we're still not exactly sure what to do. Might just have it be a day. Because what capability will we have of doing anything special for it? I mean, I guess what we could do is look at when... You know, just look at the calendar of when day 200 will, you know, pop up and see maybe we can find a way to do a cooking video. I don't know. Tyra likes cooking. I like coming up with ideas too, so maybe a cooking video. If it's at all... Am I doing the thing again? If it's at all... <laughs> okay, if it's possible, we can try to do a cooking video. It's just... What are we gonna cook? Oh, that's an idea. If we do a cooking video, put in the comments, uh, like, put a comment in the comment section down below on what you'd like us to try cooking for a cooking video. And even if it's Dr. Day 200, we wouldn't mind trying to do cooking videos. It's just a matter of how to pull it off in a safe, clean manner. And part of that is, um, our stove when we moved in was not good. Yeah, why is it where I'm pointing? It does the thing anyway. Um, but the safe manner is our kitchen is absolutely tiny. In fact, when it comes to our, our you know, like food prep surfaces, you know, kitchen counters and stuff, we have one square foot. We have one square foot of food prep space in terms of countertops. That's all. And that's what we work with for, for doing the foods that you've... If you've seen us all on X or on um, Discord, you've seen some of the stuff we cook. We have fun cooking, but we have to work with a really, really tiny area to work with. And if the kids get in the kitchen, they run around and we trip over them all the time. Still working on the whole one we're cooking, please stay out of the kitchen. But Tara does not want to turn into his mother. When Tara was really little, and whenever his mother was in the kitchen, he would scream at the top of her lungs for you to get out of the kitchen. And I do not feel like trying to yell because I'm pretty sure voice model break if I do. And that's getting really loud. Oh, well, I'm talking about my computer. It's getting really, really loud at the moment. But it's also really hot in here. It's 105 degrees Fahrenheit outside. The AC's just playing patch up right now, so it's been an overdrive for the past week, and we still have two weeks of every single day being in the mid 100s. For two weeks. There's, there's no relief in, in still, but right now we have no signs of relief from this heat wave. We're just in a heat dome, is what they call it. Yeah, I think that's what they call it, man. Call that a heat dome. And we're just stuck in it right now. And our electric bill is going to be absolutely awful next week. I've been trying to keep the temperature at a reasonable level. And by reasonable, I mean so we wouldn't use too much electricity. But because it's been so hot consistently, our AC's running almost all the time, so I'm worried it's going to short out and break again like it did constantly last summer. I'm worried about that. That's doing that thing. And then, of course, the insulation. Got to worry about that. And we have to sign a new lease with the new owners of this property. So we have to sign that new lease either this week or next week. Something like that. But I, I, we've got to do... There's a lot we have to do and also make sure the AC doesn't, you know die and what we will make do and we will be very careful like not overtaxing the computer and all that stuff i wouldn't i don't know <sighs> anyway i apologize for my disposition yesterday i was more bewildered than i was upset I just want Tara to believe I was really upset at him. You know, that kind of thing. Sibling, you know, how like, how spouses or and or siblings treat each other when they're mad. And then they're not mad, they just want them to think they're mad for a while. Be like, hey, give me some sympathy here. I was up against a wall, for goodness sake. But... <sighs> we're also in talks of whether or not we'll put that 
as he got the phrase from Nostalgia Critic, Big Lived Alligator Moment. We're debating on whether or not we take just that bit from the video and make it a standalone. Because originally the video was going to be longer, but when we're pressed for time, because the kids got home from the mother-in-laws, I we had to cook dinner. We'd been working all day. We actually did 12 hours of work yesterday for the, for the daily video and editing all of that. It was, we didn't do anything in advance. We did it all yesterday. So we were working for about 12 hours yesterday to ensure that everyone got the video on time and with remotely decent quality, you know? Anyway, I need, I, I need to get going because there are other things. I just hit myself in the face. Um... But it's not like too late like it has been for a while where we were just doing our videos way too late now. It's only 4, it's 4.15 p.m. at the time of... There is a clock right up here. It was 4.14 or 16.14, so I can't say that when there's a clock literally right here. You can see what time it is. Anyway, it is that time of day. We need to get going so we can start food prep. Because we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. And, oh yeah, you know what, when I think about it, maybe I should get that rotisserie chicken out of the freezer to let that thaw in the fridge for a couple days. That'd be a good idea for, like, Saturday. But, still need to come up with something for the kids to eat that they will enjoy. My goodness, Sweet Pea is getting so incredibly picky. I didn't train them to be picky. Why are they picky? Wait, train? Raise? And raise them to be picky. It's the ice cream. I think I think we just had the luxury. Of, they had the luxury of having too many sweets this month, so now they don't want to eat anything else, especially the youngest one, because now she won't eat her veggies, and she loves veggies. It's because of the sugar. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade. It's Hump Day. I like Hump Days a lot. It's because it's mid-month, you know, you're just finally getting through the week. The logic for not, well, for Tara not liking Tuesdays is people always talk about, you know, I hate Mondays. But in reality, if you think about it, if you do the Monday fri through Friday 9 to 5 kind of work schedule that they do a lot in America, they always talk about hitting Mondays because that's when they have to come back from being on their days off to go back to work. The reality is... The reality is, Tuesdays are worse because Monday it hasn't fully sunken in for you that you're back at work. Once Tuesday hits, it has fully sunken in that you must be back in your da in your daily work routine. That's what's sunken in that yes, you are indeed back at work, so you might as well get used to it. Monday is more the shock to the system. Well, Tuesday is the worst. Think about it like people who quit smoking. It's always, it's never the first day that's the worst. It's like the second and third day that are the worst. But Wednesday, because you know you have a five-day work week, Wednesday, you just be like, oh yeah, this is halfway through. Good good for me. Yay, I can, I can start planning. And Thursdays are the good ones because that's when you get the plan ahead. But really the reason why the... Okay, how about this? Give us a reminder for Tara to explain why he likes Thursday so much. There's actually old history f to it. Uh, going back 2004, 2005. Or no, 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 um, yeah, 2004 to 2005. There's history to why he likes Thursday, so just ask Tara in the comments section below. And if he, get, if he gets that requested, he will explain it tomorrow. But... Like I said, I am going to get going now. I hope everyone has a wonderful hump day. Here's the time it is right now. And you can see it is indeed the 26th of June. And it is day 178 being sober. You're not going to see that on the clock there because that's our counter. You will see it down for one of them. This carrot gets spun around all the time, so I so seldom ever have consistency whenever I stand somewhere on this camera, because it's like, oh, are you really right here? Are you actually over here? <laughs> time will tell. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade. Enjoy the rest of your day. We will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. And, and, boop. <laughs> that, you know what? I'm going to be honest as I get going. I don't know how I feel about booping people. Booping is also, like, uncomfortable for me.
Like when that person in, in the black hat was head patting me, I was super uncomfortable. I don't like people I don't know touching me. If I don't know you, please don't touch me. That would be very appreciated. Anyway, take care, everyone. I've rambled on enough. We. Wait.